All right, so in this video, we're going to cover some of the SIM integrations available from the TDM web interface. Now, the general idea behind the SIM integrations is to make it as easy as possible for you to quickly start using content in whatever platform you're using. So currently we have uh, integrations for Elastic, Splunk, and Azure Sentinel, and we're gonna tackle those in that order. So in order to find rules that we can search in Elastic, we need to actually go to Filters, Platform, and find Elastic Search and hit Apply. So we will just select one of those at random in a new tab. And you'll see that we have Elastic Stack selected here under the Choose For. And you'll also see that we have four different options here, Query, Rule Alert, Save Search, and Watcher Alert. Search in Kibana integration only works with the query format. And before we click on that search in Kibana button, we actually do need to configure this feature. And essentially what we need to do is tell the TDM where our Kibana instance lives. So in this case, we're actually using Elastic's demo instance. Uh, we need to provide a default time period. Uh, we can probably just leave it at now minus 15 minutes for the moment. And we need to select a pattern ID for where our, in this case, where our Windows events live, but we probably also need to provide a, a pattern ID for Linux events, web server events, and firewall events. If you don't know how to get your pattern IDs, click on this orange how to get index pattern IDs button, and you will see a bunch of information here about how to get that. We are just going to hit submit. So we're going to wait for that change to be registered and now we should be able to hit the search in kibana button this is going to open up kibana in a new tab again this is actually elastic's demo instance so they don't actually have a winlog beat pattern id which is why you'll see a little error pop up on the bottom right hand side here and no results uh, matching our search criteria but you pretty much get the idea the search query is already here it should be running provided that you know you have the right index ID. And again, a great way to very quickly go from having some kind of query or rule to actually utilizing it. Now the Splunk search in Splunk feature is pretty similar. So in order to configure this, we'll just click on search in Splunk. And similarly, we will need to input where our Splunk instance lives. What is the URL? What is the default period? Uh, select what index has the relevant events that we are looking for and hit submit. Next up is Azure Sentinel. Now the Azure Sentinel configuration is a little bit more advanced. Let's find a rule. All right, so now you can see that uh, we have the kind of raw rule query information and we have a deploy in my Sentinel button. Now we actually do need to configure this option before we hit that button so you can find that option by going to the upper right where your kind of user icon is and we need to go to microsoft azure sentinel api so click on that and that should open up a new kind of dialog box that it asks you for a client id a client secret tenant id subscription id resource groups sentinel workspaces um, if you don't know how to get these you want to click on the little i button or icon that's on the top right there, and you can actually access the documentation that we have for gathering that information. So that is how you configure it. You wanna press uh, save and check, make sure that that actually works. Now let's go back to the rule that we pulled up. Now you'll notice that there's two options here, and they actually both have this deploy in my Sentinel uh, button. We have the query and the rule. Now the query actually creates a, a threat hunting kind of search in Azure Sentinel and the rule creates a analytics rule in Azure Sentinel. I actually have a our kind of test instance up that I can show you where that would appear. When you use the rule function here and you press it, deploy in Sentinel, that will show up under configuration analytics as a rule in Sentinel. And then when you utilize, let's press cancel here, let's it, when you utilize query and press deploy my Sentinel, um, that will show up under threat management hunting. Now, just to spend a, a moment talking about this 
kind of interface. Um, you do want to make sure that you select the right Sentinel instance. It's likely that you probably have you know, multiple environments or multiple workspaces. One of them is probably a production. One of them is probably dev. Uh, you know, so make sure that you're deploying to the right instance that you've configured, can configure multiple. And then you also have an option or an opportunity to modify some of the rule contents before you deploy it. And that is it for SIM integration features within TDM. So please let us know if you have any questions or feedback and enjoy using the threat detection marketplace.